Rage Against the Machine, Killing in the Name, video number three. We're gonna take this from the uh, build up right after the guitar solo ends. And we're gonna start with octaves. Fifth string, fifth fret, third string, seventh fret. Mute the other string, it should sound like this. Dead, and then we have uh, groups of six. We're gonna play four like. What you'll do is bump that up two frets to the seven and nine. Okay, four groups of six up to the eight and ten. Uh, up to the ten and twelve, four groups of six. And then twelve and fourteen, four groups of six. Thirteen and fifteen, four groups of six. Fifteen and seventeen, four groups of six. And then we have seventeen and nineteen, we're gonna play. Okay, and slowly we have. Don't slide too far because you need to get back real fast. And that takes us back to the section that goes. We're going to play that eight times. And then we have this seven chord, and it's a funk groove that goes. four times. Here it is slowly. Okay, how do you play a D minor 7? Your first finger bars across all five strings at the fifth fret and my uh, the tip of my index rests against the side of the sixth, deadening that. So I can strum it and you won't hear it. So you've got to add your second finger to the second string at the sixth fret, right where it falls. Add your third finger to the fourth string, seventh fret, right where it falls. And we have... And we're going to strum down up and then two muted strums down up and then the chord down up, down up. So, so far what we have... And then we have two muted strums, and then down, up, down, up. And then we're going to conclude with the fifth string, third fret. Move your first finger back two frets. Once you finish that, we're playing four groups of six octaves, fifth fret, uh, fifth string, seventh fret, third string. And that's our ending. Make sure you rest in between those open six strings. Slide down.